What is happening, ladies and gentlemen? Badman Gaming here, back with another video, and today I'm going to be doing my top ten of favorite sets that I have collected over the years. Uh, we'll start with ten over here, and then we'll go down the line. All right, number ten, we have this Transport Warthog, and I really like this thing, especially as it's a uh, war, uh, a Walmart exclusive. Uh, came out two thousand. Nine, I believe it was part of their no 2010 is when this came out it was part of their some of their first wave vehicles and it, it's it's simple but it's it's nice it does come with stickers which sucks but that's part of it and I really like it I think it's awesome you clip your guys hands on these bars here and it works really well uh, let's move on to number nine number nine this warthog now that set comes with like nine figures. This set, what it lacks for in size and figures, comes with detail and good figures instead of just many figures. And that's really cool. So as you just saw, it comes with one of these new articulation hunters, or two of them. It comes with Master Chief and Arbiter, so very good figures with that set. So, very nice. Some printing. There's lots of printing. By this point, uh, Mega Constructs or Mega Blocks, either or, stopped using them like that. Uh, the next one is the Hawk versus Banshee. I don't know if that's a specific name. It came out last year and I bought it before it just skyrocketed in price, so I'm happy I did that. Uh, it has articulating guns, it has missile pods, and it has flat cannons I like to call them uh, this opens as a little bit of printing detailing so it's pretty cool uh, let's see it does have rotors that spin and it does have kind of this like back to it so it kind of bends in the back that's pretty cool but my favorite part of the set isn't even the hawk it's the banshee and I love this Banshee. It's definitely my favorite. It just it, it looks just like a Halo 2, Halo 3 Banshee, except for this thing. It's too low, in my opinion. But other than that, awesome job. Uh, it does have shooters, but I'm not going to shoot them because I don't like to lose them. Uh, nice printed piece right there. And that's pretty cool. All right. This is where we're going to get into the big stuff. Uh, this is going to be... Number four, the dropship. Now, why isn't this all the way up there? Well, it's an awesome set. I love it. And it's really useful for displays and stuff. But it's it's impressive, too. It, it's all, I think it's like the perfect size is the one in Halo 5, which is one of the things that Halo 5 did right because this dropship looks awesome. Uh, it has tons of detail, it has printing everywhere, printed pieces all over. It is a bit dusty. Printing, printing, nice console piece with radar system. Very nice set with tons of stuff. Underneath there is a cannon. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to show you it because I can't lift it with one hand. But it is very heavy and it is... Definitely my sixth favorite. No, it is my seventh favorite in my top ten. Sorry that took so long. I have trouble with numbers. But it's, an, it's a cool set nonetheless, and it, it looks really nice. You can uh, put a ghost on this. Oh. You can put a ghost on these things, which is pretty cool. Uh, which ghost is it? This ghost. I actually bought this ghost for two reasons. I, three reasons. I wanted another ghost. I wanted Jewel Mondama, and I wanted this to attach. Because I was sick of using this to attached to it all right let's go over to the elephant from halo
Halo 3. And this thing is bulky and massive. I think you could call this set uh, their Ultimate Collector Series set because, come on, it's 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 big. So I think it I think it's just as large as the elephant. Maybe not as wide or as tall, but it, I think it's just as large. Two cannon or machine gun turrets. Uh, you have this, which can turn and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. Plenty of tools down there to work on. You got a ramp that comes down. Then your mongoose can drive up there. Stickers everywhere because this is an old set. And it does come with a mongoose, which is pretty cool. The first mongoose I ever got. Yeah, it was. So pretty cool. Next we have the bottom of the barrel, number five. If you, if you guys hear music and stuff, uh, sorry. The, uh, there's nothing I can do about it. I did everything I could. I soundproofed the room, I, but I can hear it. All right, number five. Rocket Hog versus Anti-Air Turret from Halo Reach. And this set is awesome. Let's see, it came out 2011. And for 2011, this was a good Warthog. I'm pretty sure this was, no, this was one of the first Warthogs with this rocket turret on it. And it's an awesome set. I really, really like this set. Again, use of stickers, I don't really care for. But this thing's awesome. As you can see, it has a reactor core in it. And the AA thing, it just has a massive presence. It, it, it isn't very massive, but it has an awesome presence to it. Alright, moving on. The classic, classic Pelican from the Bungie era came out 2009 with a thousand something pieces. And I actually modified this set a little bit. Uh, as you can see, nothing has changed in there. It does have four seats for you to use. Uh, all these turn, nothing new there. Uh, so that's the same. <laughs> So, uh, let's see. Hold on, I'm just fixing this. It broke off. It's stupid in a year to broke the thing. All right, hold on. I know I daily down you a lot. I'm sorry. Uh, these move up and down, as you can see. But the thing that I modified is this right here. I wanted it to be more like Bungie, so I put a seat back here so it can have two pilots in it, just like the Bungie era. So, pretty cool, pretty nice. Awesome set. Now we're getting to the bottom. The Falcon from Halo Reach. Now, for my top three, I had to pick this as third. And I'll, I'll tell you why. This was the first Mega Block set I ever got. That is one of the few reasons. That, and it looks awesome. I When I first got it, it actually was missing a ton of stuff because my brother owned it. And he he didn't want to he didn't buy Mega Blocks anymore after that. So he just gave all this stuff to me. And when I got it, it was missing a ton of pieces. So recently, I think last year, I actually bought another one of these so I could fix this one up and add all the printed detailing to it that it needed and all the stickers, of course. So pretty. Nice set, pretty cool. It has turrets here. These move, as you would imagine, both ways. Uh, this opens, and you have a, de a decently sized cockpit area with just a piece right there that actually helps them to fit. And then this turret. This is one of the main pieces I was missing. I wasn't missing this turret per se, but the turret part was broken. So, I... That's another reason why I got it. And this whole section was missing, but that's, I fixed it and it's good now. All right, moving on to number two. This set, an awesome set. It looks exactly like the Halo 3 Wraith, which is my favorite Halo game, as you should know. Uh, these can move up and down. This moves side to side, boom, boom. It can fire, blah, blah. Uh, decent, decently sized and pretty nice looking driver and compartment. It has, I guess, suspension. It has things that make it look like it's tilted or something. But the absolute best part about the set is this. 
awesome awesome I love that so much and it has a demanding presence to it and then it just closes back and then these close over it Ugh, I, I just love this set it's awesome tons of stickers uh, there were bullet stickers but I don't like adding the bullet stickers I think they're stupid so I didn't add them all right moving on to the final set this set <laughs> took me a long freaking time to build I think 11 hours to build this thing and holy crap was it worth it uh, these move around it did come out in 2014 and it is a Toys R Us exclusive which is why if it is so high in price and everyone's demanding it Everywhere I look, someone's like, hey, Mega Constructs, can you make a new one so it's not as expensive? But I like the OG Halo 3 Scarab. Uh, this can swivel. Too bad it can't move up and down. All the legs can move side to side. Again, I'm sorry for the disturbances. Uh, there's a ramp that leads to the lower level and a little console piece. Uh, this opens... And reveals there's just so much crap here. It reveals a kind of walkway, and I wish they made it one stud wider. This whole thing, just one stud, because then characters would actually be able to fit in there. Instead, you have to push them in sideways. That is only a minor complaint. I'm not complaining anymore. The set is awesome. Nice big printed piece there, and really nice detail all the way through. Just comes up as one assembly, and then. Just Plops back down there. Sometimes it gets stuck there, though. Know. But, let's see if I can lift this one to one hand. And then you have the back. It has the thing that you can blow up to get access to this from long range, like using a scorpion or something. Uh, you have the lower deck, which you'd usually jump up to. With the ramp that leads to the upper level, which is the ramp that's right there. So... Awesome set. Sorry guys. I have to pick it up with one hand. That's 10 pounds. So that is my top 10. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. And give me any comments for any videos you would like to see from me next. And I'll get back to you. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye bye.